It was his introduction to America, the man who could be just a heartbeat away from the presidency. J.D. Vance is a relative unknown and Donald Trump's choice as his vice presidential running mate. He opened with praise for the man he once heavily criticised, comparing to Hitler. Tonight we celebrate he is our once and future President of the United States of America. A relatively new senator from Ohio, he needed a Trump endorsement to win his election to have any future in Republican politics. A former Marine, a best-selling author, Vance is an abortion absolutist, banned with no exceptions even for rape or incest. He's opposed to continued military support for Ukraine and believes China is a massive threat. He claims Washington has caused too many hardships for too many ordinary Americans. From Iraq to Afghanistan, from the financial crisis to the Great Recession, from open borders to stagnating wages, the people who govern this country have failed and failed again. He was introduced to the convention by his wife Usha, the daughter of Indian immigrants. His goals in this new role are the same that he has pursued for our family. To keep people safe, to create opportunities, to build a better life, and to solve problems with an open mind. The theme of night three was Make America Strong Again. The speakers talked border security. The audience waved signs calling for mass deportation of undocumented migrants. No mention that Donald Trump effectively blocked possible bipartisan immigration legislation. He wanted it as an issue to run on, to use at his convention. He will enforce the immigration laws. He will fight the Mexican drug cartels and he will arrest the criminal illegal immigrants and put them behind bars. The Trump team says the selection of J.D. Vance is about the long-term future, but now attention turns to Donald Trump himself. He'll close the convention with his speech on Thursday, the first time he's spoken in public, really, since the attempt on his life at the weekend. And it will answer the question, if that brush with death means a different kind of Donald Trump. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, at the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.